Right, Jase. Bit of a mismatch blog. Yeah. Because what we've had in, we've had a few part exchanges in, which yeah. are older vans. And I know you keep asking us about older vans, so let's show you some older vans. We have got a pretty newish one, but they're all over nine years old. Yeah. Uh, so some are a lot older as well. Um, so let's have a quick look at these and have a chat or whatever yeah. on the way round, yeah. shall we? So the first one is... 23 years old. 23 years old. And there it is. Look at that. A Do 2000 Lake Year. It's looking good for its age, Kevin, is it? Yes. Yeah? A bit like me. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at what do you reckon the inside is going to be like? Rough? Mm, it could be tatty, couldn't it? 23 year old. Ah, don't open. Watch this. Head of its time, Kev. Central locking. Central locking. I heard the click. First impressions, what do you think? Look at the size of that door. <laughs> That. Like a bank vault, isn't it? That's it. <laughs> right, yeah. get yourself in there, Kevin. Ooh, floor's looking very good. The upholstery's looking good. Dated, but it's dated, but it's looking good. Now this has been a loved for van. Yeah. Probably top of the range. Check all the cupboards out. Yeah. Yeah. Even check the thickness of the cupboard doors. Look at that. Thicker than your head, Kev. Well look at that, what a nice van. A French bed that's almost not a French bed because no, it's got just very, very little cuts off. Yeah. 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 Empty it. There you go. Take your shower out. Even got a separate, separate shower. Yeah. Good size shower. We're going to show you more vans today than you'll see at the Bloody Motor Home Show, Cal. Yeah. yeah. So let's move on. We're still going to the show. On the Motor Home Show? Hmm. Do you want to go? Yeah. You want to go? Mm. Okay, if you want, you really want to go? Yeah, we'll go. Do you want to do some videos? Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Yeah. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll work out what day and then yeah. we'll go. Um, and have a mooch around. We'll do a couple of videos, eh? Yeah. Okay. So we're taking Finn with us. I'll have a bit of a jolly. Yeah. So, right, next one is the newest one we're going to show you. Now, this is a 2014, but on a Volkswagen. It's made by Leisure Drive. That's a high, high top, yeah. High top, yeah. yeah. Nice colour. Yeah, silver. Nice wheels. Forgot the keys, Chad. <laughs> Where did I put the keys? Down there. It's locked itself, hasn't it? I think it has, Chad. Yeah. Oh. Tell you what, while, while you're getting into this, what? Uh, I was watching YouTube. But is that all you ever watch is bloody YouTube? I don't watch yours. Uh, right. I was watching YouTube and somebody was on there, so wondering, should they get paid for doing, uh, off the manufacturers? What do you doing, mean? For doing reviews on their particular motor. So should the manufacturers yeah. pay a YouTuber? Yeah. No. 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 Manufacturers own, no. 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 It's great. They do uh, videos of it and everything. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, really is good. Well, no, they shouldn't, they shouldn't get paid. No. At all. Anyway, quick look at this auto sleeper. So, this, is, this is two single beds, isn't it? Yeah, two single beds. Have a look inside, Kev. Nice little wash oh, it'd bay. Make it would make a double as well, eh? Look at Two burner up. Yeah. Look at that. Dometic. Yeah. Um, and around. I think there's a loo in there, isn't there? Good size. Let's have a look. Probably. Yeah, oh, proper toilet. Proper cassette toilet. Look at that. Proper toilet. Loads of headroom. Yeah. Not as that matter with me. Oh. Yeah, plenty of bedroom. Anyway, there, all yeah. that, all that, right. But anyway, Jace, why shouldn't they pay him? Why YouTube shouldn't it? I don't pay you anything, Kev. No, I mean, why, 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 don't, why shouldn't the manufacturers pay YouTubers for throwing their hands off? Um, do you really want to know? Yeah. Well, right, let's get in this bar and I'll explain to you. All right. right, look at this Orchard Trail A Class. A Class. Look at that. Spoiler on hey, the front. No, that's the bit I like. The Mercedes. Mercedes. It's 2006. 2006 Grand Frontier on the Mercedes. And two doors. Driver's door and passenger door. Yes. Oh, well, I haven't been in this one at all. No, I haven't I been in any of these actually. No. It's the first time I've been in these. I did pop my head in on the lake here. 
Um, so we've done um, a 14 plate, which is the new one. We've done the oldest, which is 23 years old. This one, was this a 6? 2006. 2006. So that's 17 years old. Mm. So let's have a look. I've not, so, I've not seen a Australia class before. I believe they're making one now as well, aren't they? Yeah, they have done. So we've got the drop down bed. Are you right there, Kev? It's a long way up there. Yeah, drop down A class bed. Yeah. It's spacious. Yeah, on the two belts. It's spacious. Look at this. Got something kitchen, isn't it? Cheapers, creepers. <laughs> That's that's what you call a shower room, isn't it? A eh? shower room? Bigger than my bathroom it's at home. <laughs> Look at this, look, check that out. It's nice, it's all like this. I like this. You can get a stool, Jace. Look, for the dressing table, it even comes with a stool. Does not it? Yeah. And even the stool's fastened in, it's even fastened in there. Oh, yeah. That is. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, Kev will do a review of this man. Let's yeah. not show anyone anymore. No. So, why don't manufacturers pay YouTubers? Dead simple. Don't get me wrong, I love watching the YouTube videos of people going around doing the manufacturers, mm. doing the new vehicles and everything else. But, if you think about it, a YouTuber, if they wanted to get paid, they'd want to get paid between 500 and 1,000. Mm. Shall we go yeah. for that? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go for that. So, basically, in order to, to do a manufacturer, your views have got to be anywhere between 100, 200, 300,000 views for it to be worth the manufacturer to do it. Now, if they've got 500 pounds or 1,000 pounds, they could make their own two minute promo of this van. Yeah. And then what it is, it's their content as well. So they can put it on their websites, they can distribute it to however they want. So from an economical standpoint, there's no point of manufacturer paying the YouTuber to do a video. Yeah basically of selling the van um, and that's that's why really I don't know well, that's my opinion why they don't also it'd have to be a new van because they're not making money out of second hand vans well they? no no but this is what I mean I was on, I'm on about yeah. manufacturers so viable they could use their money there to get a promo do something like that send it out so um, that's probably one of the reasons why a manufacturer won't pay a YouTuber. If you're hitting the big views of where one of your videos, every time you do a video, it's doing two, three, four hundred thousand views, then it would make sense probably in the future. But as obviously, don't forget, we're also in a boom with motorhomes at the moment. Um, don't know how long it's going to last. So um, we're so, in a boom, so they don't necessarily need it. Um, it's great YouTubers do it because it gets to show people, and this is why we do it, we like to show people all the different types different of layouts. Um, layouts um, yeah. Yes, we are doing it to sell them, but the majority of our videos don't go out until after the van's sold. The van sold <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um, so so that's probably one of your reasons. I forgot what I was going to say there then, Kev. Plus our videos, when we make our videos, if we've videoed a van and that van's already sold when the video's gone out, the customer has got can yeah, get a copy we'll of that van that they bought, yeah. We can talk about that. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the reason being why um, they don't, yeah. to be honest. So if you are getting into YouTube and you like to do the vans and everything else, your views have got to be so high to warrant them spending that amount of money. Mm. Because for the same amount of money, you could probably take a full page ad in a, a magazine, which is going to hit two, three, four hundred thousand eyes. Anyway, so it's, it's, you know, it, it's, anyway, it's all economics, yeah. so let's move on. You've got the questions today, aren't you? I know, yeah. Hey, you want to stop watching that YouTube? So, right, now what we've got, we've got a 2010, so that's 13 years old Swift Escape. When they brought the blue cab out, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, they changed the colour, didn't they? Instead of being all white, they brought the blue cab out. 624, this is Kev. Again, I've not been in this one either. So this is your typical, typical family group of camper van, motorhome, whatever you want to call it. What are you doing, Kev? I'm putting the step out so I can get it. <laughs> now I like the layout in these. I love these because they are a great family camper uh, motorhome starter van yeah. off. You've got your bed there. Double bed. And what I've always liked about these is this bench seat because you can use that as a bed off as use well. Use that as a single, yeah. And then you've got the double above. Yeah. Again, the same thing. And then, um, do you want to show the washroom? Let's have a quick look. I think we'll do a video on this one as well. Yeah, it's a typical uh, wet room. Yeah. 
good size weight right now. And you've got a combined oven grill, three burner hob, you've got your fridge. Yeah, don't go too mad because no. No. no, I like these with that bench seat there. Yeah, yeah. And you have got your four belts, so it's a genuine four, berth, I do four like belts. These. So these bags obviously they come in as a Partex, um, we aren't putting them on sale yet because they are a bit older, so we need to check them out first. Some of them we probably won't retail to guys, but we need to give them a good check, mechanical and also habitation wise and see what jobs need to be done whether it warrants us retailing them or not yeah right so why as a dealer don't you want pain to do videos do you want pain don't you want pain? you want what? pain eh no you want pain you just want pain i'm only old in camera you're you're the one doing the talking so would you want to be paid for doing these reviews no no what are you trying to say kev you, you just question all the time what is it you're on about dealers. Right, dealers, not yeah. manufacturers. Dealers now. Right, yeah. Because dealers make videos, not just us. Yeah. But so why should the dealer not pay a YouTuber for doing a video? Hmm? That's what you mean. Ah, same as a manufacturer. Yeah. We got there in the end, didn't we? Yeah. Um, let's go and have a look. How many vans have we got left? One. Well, one left, and we can answer that question then. Yep. Yeah. Some questions today, haven't you? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I can understand why you're saying it because obviously if you're getting into YouTube there is a revenue and, and, and a way that you can make money with it, whether it's through your AdSense and everything else. But obviously you've got to grow to be able to get yeah. basically gay. The, the our revenue it doesn't really bother us because like I say we're here as basically as building a brand. We show people the motorhomes that we uh, well, that we've mean... got for sale. We also uh, do tutorials and everything as well, so it helps our customers or anybody else. Um, and what that's done is by showing people how our vans work and everything else, it cuts the phone calls down for us because they've got their own video about works. And it also helps other people who've got them. And it just builds credibility. Well, we've just covered five different models now. Yeah. Oh, we will have when we've done this one. Yeah. What's this one? Jointy E33 2006. Yeah. Work it out. How many years old? Sixteen. Seventeen year Wally. Sixteen. Well seventeen we're Seventeen into. year Wally. I, I think in twenty twenty. Only just seventeen. Because we're only, eh? only just seventeen because we're only in February. Yeah. Um so yeah, that's why the AdSense doesn't really bother us doing sponsorships. Um we've had a little go of them, haven't we? Yeah. Um or doing reviews. Um because at the end of the day, if you're doing a review, you've got to say the the whatever your review's good. Mm. Um and I don't think we'd make a very good video, wouldn't we, if you didn't like it, no. to be honest. No. We ought to do that, you know. This, this Anybody who wants something reviewing, right, send it to us and we will give you a proper review of it. Yeah. A proper one. Yeah. Not so we won't skate over it. We'll give you a proper yeah. one. And if you want, we'll even send it back to you <laughs> so you don't feel as though you've given it to us. Exactly. Yeah. Go on, what are you saying? I said we give everybody an insight into the vans without... You know, I mean, every van is a little quirk. Every van, yeah. Every person. I think I saw some comments as well uh, on some. I can't remember what it was. Where someone was saying, "I've made loads of videos for dealers, and I've probably sold loads of vans for them, but they've never paid me anything." It's like, why should we pay somebody to make a video? Again, they're going to want five hundred thousand pound or whatever, right? Take this van now, right? I can advertise this now on Auto Trader, which is the best platform for selling your motor around. Right? For that amount of money, 500 quid, I can advertise this for over a year on Auto Trader. Yeah. Which is getting into front into like what a quarter of a million eyes every week. Yeah. Basically. So I can put my money into that. Or for 500 quid, I could put Put it in a, one of the Metro magazines, couldn't yeah. I? And advertise it there. I could pull. A, I could have a full space spread. Yeah, so you've got to understand. Like I say, I'm not. I love watching some of the YouTube videos of them of doing the bands and everything. But you're not because of the views. You've got to be doing quarter of a million views for anybody yeah. to want want to pay you. Um, and don't expect to be paid from it either. Because yeah. if anybody came up to us, anybody's welcome to come up and. Video and hours. You're, you're or only whatever. showing one particular van, you know. I mean, let's have a look in this one. Oh, interesting. Yeah, interesting. It's 
massive double bed in these. Uh, and that's no, huge. Yeah. Yeah. Look yeah. Head, they like the older chassons as well, the same type of layout, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. And then you've got your bed makeup there. Look at the prep double area. There. Check yep. out. Massive prep area, fridge. Yeah. Look at the wardrobe. Look at the size of that wardrobe. This one here, Kev. That's not a wardrobe, Jace. It's a wardrobe, isn't it? I'll get in it in a minute. There's your bathroom. Shower room. And, which is good, there's a separate shower. Good size washroom, that. You've got your roller shutter door things here as well. Loads of storage, Jace. Yeah. Yeah. So, any more questions you want to carry on before we wrap this up? You've ruined me video. All about different bands talking about yeah but as we were saying why we do these videos we do them because we like to be informative we like people to see different vans i was going to say knowledgeable hmm? knowledgeable well, i don't think so no. uh, one thing why we like to do these videos as well is yes it gives us credibility as a business it helped so much is because also we enjoy doing them yeah and yeah. i don't expect getting paid no, to do them we have a bit of humour as well. I mean, life's well, too short. Not to we think that. it's humour. Nobody else does. Um, but yeah, so like, um, keep doing the videos of, of, of the bands and everything because really, motor roaming and camper vanning on YouTube is quite in its infancy. Um, it's just now starting. More and more people are starting to do them. And, and I love when I go around the um, NEC when we go around. I love watching yeah. people yeah. doing the different reviews and going around and, and doing everything. Um, and I think I think I think it's brilliant, and it just helps helps the business. But do you know what I mean yeah, yeah, don't expect it. Yeah, and people say about motor I mean, I've just I've just spent nearly a week at Keswick on the campsite there. Uh, Two hundred and fifty pictures on there, Jason, and I could say probably 80 percent or more than eighty yeah. percent were actually camper vans or motor homes. There you Very go. low percentage of caravans. There you go. Yeah. Did you recognise Kev? Eh? Yeah, somebody did. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I was at the washing up area. Uh, right. And this woman came out and said, You're on YouTube, aren't you? I said, Yeah. Oh, Ghost his head, folks. Ghost his head. She said, I'm a subscriber, but I don't make comments. If you do see him out and about, or if you see him at the show, go and say hello, because he just makes his day. <laughs> his little face goes all nice <laughs> and happy and everything. So It's surprising I got, I got I'd noticed in uh, Brixton last year, was it? Yeah. Okay. Bricks them, down right. garden. Have we covered everything now? I think so. We've yeah. shown some vans. We've covered a fair few. We've vans, talked about we? little things. Uh... Again, we've covered five different model vans. Yeah. Five different manufacturers. Because hey. that's what we do, Kev. That'd be five grand if we charged. <laughs> Get on the phone now. Let's go. Come on, let's go. go.